This conference will now be recorded. Are you, Hi, just me, are you able to hear me? John, I can't hear you. Yeah, now I am. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. And let me see how I can uh, give you how to uh, join by phone. Okay, the audio pin is 39. So let me just give that yeah, to everyone. I, I, I got to find the audio number. The audio number is, I'm going to type here 408. Okay, hold on. Yep. 408-650-3123. And the audio pin, I just saw it and I forgot. It's 39. So should we not use the audio on this? We can use it on this, but Aileen, she wants to dial in. She probably okay. doesn't have the speakers on the computer, so she will have to use the uh, dial in. I'm here. Hi. Can you try calling into this and see if this works, Aileen? What's the access code again? Uh, the audio pin is 39, followed by the pound. The access code you entered is invalid. No, because it's asking for an access code. Oh, oh the access code audio. is uh, probably one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let me call again. And, okay. and I need you and Eileen to sort out the emails. Again, all the emails I got today came to my personal email, not my work. So I didn't even, I didn't know anything. I slipped in the dark. I don't know why the emails keep going to the wrong email. No, I I sent those to WSP account. I thought. Let let me see. When we will have to talk tomorrow about that. Hi Shannon. Hi Steve. Hi Barry. One, two, three, four. Please re-enter your access code followed by the pound or hash sign. I gotta find the access code. I think it's one, two, three, four, five. You entered. No digits. We aren't receiving your number, entry. Sorry, I got the information here. Let me just give it to you. Access code is 723-59. What is it? The meeting ID is the access code. 723. 723-594-445. Can you hear me, Smitha? Yes. And who is that? Barry. Barry. Do you have Do you have my video up? Now I can't hear you. And I don't think they have me. Well, but Barry, I can hear you. But you got to. Are you on the phone too? Yeah, you can have both the audio on the phone and the computer. Say that again, John. Barry, can you hear me? I can, I can hear John. Yeah, you can have both. Uh, I ran into this problem at work the other day doing a conference. You can't have audio on the phone and um, through the program. But I just have it through the program now. I'm not on the phone. Okay. 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 Smitha, I couldn't hear you before. I can't hear you now. Mm -hmm. Wow, why is it saying Tom and Aileen are talking? Oh, Not now talking. it's just. Now, now Tom's talking. 
It's just telling you whose voice is coming. You know what? Just do it then, Glenn. Just do it. Because everything's ruined tonight, so just do it. Just keep whipping it up. Can anyone, this is Jamie. Can anyone hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. I can Jamie. hear you, Jamie. This is I, Aileen. I can also. Okay, so I, I'm I'm not seeing, not that it really matters. I see Susmitha, John, Shannon, and Tom is all I see. That's all I see, too. And, and Susmitha, I don't hear, I see your mouth moving. I don't hear you, though. Yeah, I heard her before. Before everybody got on. Okay, I, I hear you, Tom. Shannon, have you, do you speak, Shannon? <laughs> no, no audio. No audio. Oh, there's no. Barry. Hello. Hi, Barry. We yeah, see I hear you, Barry. Barry. Now I see him. Can you see him? I'm Barry, I'm, I'm, old. I'm the oldest one. Hello. Aileen, I'm, I'm not seeing you, Aileen. I can't Aileen see myself there. either. Hi, uh, Aileen. Yes. If you push, if you push that camera, when thing, you're it'll talking ask on the phone, to... I can't be here on the screen. Yeah, I just texted you, but I will call you. Is your, is, Smith, is your volume all the way up? You gotta have your speaker volume up. Yeah, my voice. Yes, it it is up. Hey, sis Mitha, it's Aileen. So on my yeah, so right now on my screen, I see you, John, Shannon, Tom Barry. I can hear Jamie. I can't see him. Bob Rosati. It looks like he joins, but I can't see him. And I've never been able. And I I don't think I've ever been on the screen. Eileen? Yeah, I wanted to know something. It's Steve I'm Law. I was talking and everybody was able to hear me on the screen. I and now nobody can hear me when I'm talking. Why is that? I don't know. I, because I don't have the control panel because I'm not an organizer on this level for this meeting. I think it's you, Jay. Um, okay. And Thanks, what? I'm here. No, but when he, I, if he was the one who created this, he's yeah. the creator, as it will, for this meeting. So he okay. has the a control panel. He should have given you permissions to uh, work Jay's things, here on the, so you Jay's could. Jay's on the call um, right now. Yeah. Jay's on the call here right now. I think everybody's waiting for my direction. Just wait one second. Okay, I'll hang it out. Okay. okay. Sure. Okay. Hello, can you Patrick hear me? Patrick is on the call. No. Uh, Hello? Hello? Oh, guys. Hi. Looks like no one can hear me. Just me, the, now I heard you a little bit, yes. I heard you. Can anyone hear me? It's Jamie. Yes. Yes. All right. Yep. So I can hear you. Hear you. You know, I, I I don't think I can't see myself. Can anyone see me or not? No. 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 All right. So I don't, I don't think anyone can see me, Jamie. But but my the, the the little icon on the bottom for camera, and I don't I have no idea how to fix this. It says no light on where the camera is on the top of the laptop screen. I have no idea uh -huh. how to yeah. turn that on. 
push that button if you want to share your share your video with others. I'll join you. Push that button. Hi. Steve just joined. I don't see Steve either, and now I don't see Barry. I lost. No, actually, I do see Barry. Yeah, there's Barry. You're on here twice, actually. There's one with no picture and one that I see a picture. I look better in the one with no picture. <laughs> Amy, there. I'm here. There's Eileen. Here I am. There you go. Hello, Eileen. Hey. Well, so we I you guys hear me? What, what I... Yes. Steve Law's here. Okay, I don't see Steve. Still don't see you, Jamie. Did you click that little thing that's a a square with an arrow pointing to the left? Where, where is that's that? That's what I did. Oh, I have it on my iPad. Oh, it's in the or upper left, the, right? Oh, my iPad is on the upper right. Recording and and it just says, you know, do you allow them to see your video? Or I right. thought I said I, yes, I, but I had to hit yes again. I did too. But can I you thought guys it hear was me? On the can you guys hear me? Okay. 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 Yeah, Shannon, can you hear us? Oh, finally, I figured it out. My computer audio was off, so I started it back on, so now it's working. I'm so sorry about this. Um, so is everybody available to talk? Can yeah, everybody Shannon, I'm, I'm, need, I'm gonna I'm gonna text Shannon to tell her we can't hear her. Okay. Jimmy, can we or maybe she can hear us. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, but we can't see you. You got to okay. push your button, your oh, little you camera button. Oh, no, Barry. I'm on the, I'm on the oh. top. No, he just went off. There you go. There I am. Yeah, you're on my computer. You're not on my iPad. If you don't uh, join. I don't know I... what to say. You can only be at one place at one time, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. We have two options where people can speak. One is through the computer audio and the other is by phone. Those who wish to participate by phone can uh, type in the chat window, but they cannot uh, participate in the meeting like everybody else on this uh, computer audio system. So if you want to um, talk through this, uh, you know, go to meeting app, you should have the computer audio settings on. We, uh, the phone number, we are giving it to the general public to listen in into the meeting. And if they have comments, they can type in uh, their comments. And when they have, uh, when they're provided an opportunity to talk, they can talk. And that's the reason why, you know, it's not enabled for everyone else. Did you understand it? Yes, I understood. Okay. So. Yeah. We have Jamie here, whom I made the organizer of this meeting right now, and he's the chair. And Jamie, can you hear us? I, I can hear everyone, but I'm not. I, you probably can't see me, right? And I can't no, figure no. out how to make my camera work. Did you go, go in the Windows icon tray, bottom left, click mm -hmm. it, find camera? Well, because a lot know. of times, by default, it's not enabled. So when we start the meeting, we have to take a roll call and announce our name and who we are. So um, I think we should start with the commission, uh, the committee members. Um, Jamie, do you want to announce your name and your? Yeah. Um... Yes, Jamie Millward, 
Chairman, here. And the next, Steve. Steve Long, Vice Chairman. And then um, Tom. Uh, Tom Sharkwitz, member. John. John Zabel, member. Shannon. Shannon Hovan, member. Aileen. Aileen Marsh, secretary. Um, ba Barry. Barry. Barry Knott, lawyer. Bob Rosati. For Jim Fitzpatrick. Okay, you have to announce yourself. Hi, I'm here. Like, say uh, that I'm the attorney representing the applicant or something to that effect. And uh, Jim Fitzpatrick. Yes, Bob Rosati, uh, applicant. Okay, and who else is on this call? Jim, Jim it, Fitzpatrick is here. Yeah, but there is one more caller whose name is shown as N.A. That's Jay Havansky. How's everybody doing? Oh, oh hi, hi, Jay. I didn't know. Jay. Hi, Jay. <laughs> I should have. I'm watching you, know, you. I'm watching you guys so that so that I can maybe do a little better when I do this in a few weeks. So thank <laughs> you for letting me tag along. What do you want? Me can to you ask you Shannon to say or... something? I'm sorry, Aileen Hello? Marsh. Can you ask Shannon? Oh, now we can hear you, Shannon. Thank you. Can you hear me now? I can hear yeah. you now. Thank you. Jay, do you want me to add you as a co-organizer right now? I can do that. Are you uh, sure, Sismita? If, if if you know how to do that, that would be great. I don't want to hold up the meeting. I just want to observe. Okay. I think that would be a good idea, Sismita. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do it. He asked me in the morning, but I couldn't figure it out. I tried tried to do it before the meeting started, and I couldn't figure it out, and I just quit. Uh, but I'll try to do it right now. <laughs> CJ, Jay, now you didn't type your name in there because it just shows as caller. Zero one caller zero four. Which one are you? Um, it's not telling me which caller. I oh, am, caller zero so one. Sure. Okay, there he is. He, that he's person the, he's was caller call. zero one. Jay is caller zero one. Yes. Okay. No, he's not. He's in. The, he's in the photo now. We can see Jay now. I yeah. can't. Oh. I can like see him. Barry. Barry, you have two screens. You have one with your oh, name I'm and one with your face. Yeah. And I made him, I changed his name. And I'm trying to see how I can add him as a co-organizer. I can't figure it out. So, Smitha, if you're using the free trial one and not the paid, paid for that I have, it, it may not yeah. allow you to do it. I don't know. So don't. I feel like you got to spend too much time on it. Okay. Yeah, I can, I don't see the same settings that I saw online when I with the link that I showed you. I was trying no to look online too, and I think it's because my account is free. I'm just using my personal account right now, which is the free account. But for the next meeting onwards, we'll use the paid account, the mm, town initiated account, and I'll use Jay's account number and pin code. Um. So we we're all you know good with that. So here's how we should conduct the meeting, I think. We, when we start off, I'll start recording and I will ask everyone to announce their names and their titles. And uh, as soon as it's done, uh, the committee will um, tell me, I'll hand the floor to you. You can start it by announcing the time and when the meeting has started officially. And then we can you know, approve the minutes from the last month um, and then proceed to the applicants uh, as advertised in the agenda in that order. Is that okay? okay. Sure. And, um, and applicants themselves like Barry and Bob, when you're requested to speak, um, we will all mute our uh, devices. But when we are talking, we request you to mute your devices. And when one person is talking, unless you're in a very quiet room, please mute your system and just turn it on when you're asked to speak or when you have something to talk. And uh, there's also a chat option on the top. If you, I will keep it open on the side. So if you want to type in the middle of this um, discussion, something else, just chat here. And I will keep looking there and respond to your, you know, whatever concerns you have in the chat window. Um, Bob, I had a question, um, not Bob. Yeah, Bob. 
actually is the applicant going ahead or not with the application for the church or Christ Church property? They, they haven't got back to me. That's, uh, what's the date of that again? Next it's week? next Thursday around the same time, 6.30. Yeah. Hey, this uh, I, this um, means a good... Go ahead. So, I think somebody um, has background um, going on, like they're driving or something. So, you will have to mute. Unless you're in a quiet room, everybody else cannot hear it well. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of feedback now. It could be somebody's speakerphone. Okay. Yeah, you can't yeah. be listening to both devices at the same time, phone and the computer. Okay. So, Smith, I was going to ask you or two. Uh, there's somebody yes, else sorry. I was going to ask you or Tom if you could put my application ahead of Bob Rosati's application because this is a much larger project and I would rather not have to sit there for a long time listening to Bob Rosati make a presentation. Okay. Sounds fair <laughs> did, enough. Did, did, the you, one. <laughs> did you hear that, Bob? <laughs> I heard it. I just, I just have to confirm if they're going forward still. <laughs> okay. Um, so Jamie, um, the best. yes, it's one more, thing, and one more thing to keep in mind. Once we introduce ourselves and restart the meeting and, um, you start, um, uh, after you have approved the minutes, um, when you request the applicant to come and present, um, the applicant can show the drawings, um, by, by sharing their screen if they're on their desktop or they can have an easel stand and they can put their drawings there and show and walk us through them. And after they're done, you may want to say if anybody in the public has anything to speak, you may now use the chat uh, window on the side to type in your concerns or comments. And even okay. before we start the meeting, you may want to announce that the public can hear in this meeting through the audio option. And I will post the audio information here for the public on the chat window, just in case well, anybody public, wants to participate. Is the public just able to type in their questions or are they can they actually join us audio? The public can join us by this, uh, by this um, Skype option. Yes, Jay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the idea is that uh, people can certainly type in, but the idea is that any public commentary, this goes for this board, we want it We want it 24 hours ahead of time and just read into the record if we get it. But people do have the option to do it here. Okay. Okay. So you're saying, we, okay. And, and I have two more questions. So as of right now, I don't have, you're not seeing me and I'm not figuring out how, why it's not working. It looks to me like my camera's not working. So does it matter though? Do I need to be seen? No, right? No, it doesn't matter. But okay. I'll try matter. and figure it out, but I, I don't know. Now yeah. the, the applicant the applicant's gotta get his exhibits in twenty four hours in advance also, right? Yeah, it as much as possible. If not, you can still show them at the meeting, but then submit them right after and we upload it onto the web page. Yes, Jay. And, and, and Barry, for the other meetings or and Susmita for the Planning Commission, it has to be all materials have to be up on the Planning and Zoning web page seven days prior. So seven you days. would get us. Okay. Yes. 24 hours, Jay, under the, under the executive order. I think it's 24 order. hours, Jay. 24 hours. Well, that may be what, that may be what the executive order says. You know, we can talk about this. I don't want to hold up this meeting. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Because it doesn't I mean, relate to ARB. Yeah, no. and one more thing, like, um, in our case, it doesn't make any sense for us to get it after the meeting because, you know, we make a decision today or 
the recommendation goes without even our decision for the zoning commission. So it would be best if we can get before the meeting. And like Jay said, if we can get like right away, we can upload it on the web page so public can view it and comment on it. But in the case of zoning commission and planning commission, maybe you have that opportunity. I don't know that. I leave it to Jay about the zoning commission. Planning commission, we're way far off when, you know, after we see how zoning commission has performed, we'll take it over, you know, what is the best course of action for our planning commission after that. Uh, so Smitha, on our application, Jimmy submitted all of the exhibits that we we're going to be making reference to when he submitted the application. So okay. there are not going to be any more exhibits from me. So if you have to upload them onto the website, you've already got them in your file. I'll do that. And I think yeah. I do have an electronic copy of everything. I We always take a flash drive for ARB, so I have both as electronic copies. So I'll upload them onto the web page. Yes, <clears throat> Anybody else has any questions or comments? I just have one comment just for everybody's edification, I guess. If you go to the top of the screen and you go to who's talking, it actually blows it up full screen. So if someone is going to present something or uh, share something up on their screen, you'll be able to see it. Yeah. And that's a really good point, John. And it also gives you the other options to see the entire group or to, like you said, it'll bounce to see who's talking. So you may feel that you may want to bounce around and change that around as the meeting goes on. Yeah, and Jay, I think regarding making you an organizer, I <laughs> left the meeting once and when I was leaving, it asked me the option, do you want to make somebody an organizer before you leave? And I made Jamie the organizer and I left. So if Jamie left, because I'm not the organizer right now, I'm not able to change the settings and because I gave the permission to Jamie, so when Jamie is leaving, or if Jamie has the uh, you know technical capability to do it, he could probably make you the co-organizer. I forgot that That's I'm not okay. the organizer. Mm -hmm. I'm doing my practice meeting with the zoning commission next week. No one else, Barry and, and Bob, and neither you have to attend. We're just going to do this dry run with the zoning commission. I thought it would be helpful to see what you're seeing, Susmita, but don't worry about it. That's fine. Okay. I got one Susmita. more. Mm -hmm. I have a question too. Yes. Steve. So, yes, uh, I don't have, I don't have a camera on the computer, mm -hmm. but we we've been using Zoom at work. Mm -hmm. And Zoom allows you Zoom allows you to use your phone as a camera. Exactly. Yeah. Can I can I use that feature here with GoToMeeting? Yes, um, so I teach at University of New Haven, and that's what um, there was a huge discussion on that regarding using the phone to connect to your computer. They told me there is an app that you have to download on your phone as well as on your computer. I will share that um, email with you. I mean, the, uh, not the whole one, but the body of the email that describes that app. After you have downloaded that app on your computer and on your phone, you will be able to connect your um, you know, meeting apps with that camera on your phone and display it um, onto the computer. Could you send okay, that to Yes, I will send it to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But your phone position has to be tilted. So I had a stand I put my on my desktop, I had to uh, connect it. So I put on a stand and I fixed the uh, phone on it and it, angle that I can see myself first before I can display to others. Uh, now this is a laptop, so I'm just doing from the laptop. If you have a laptop, it works automatically. The more so, so let me ask you a question. If we're going to be using GoToMeeting mm -hmm. in the future, then those of us who are practicing before your boards should probably buy GoToMeeting, right, Jay? Uh, you, you, Not, you definitely don't have to. Uh, well, how no. else how, how else could we do it then? You're doing it right now. Yeah, exactly but this, right. this is a 14-day free trial. But if we're going to be doing this every month, we would need to buy it, right, Jay? You know, I don't think you need to buy it. I think you don't. As no, long you don't. as you have the as long as you have the access number and the link and the call in. We, you are you, you are attending through our membership. Oh, I get it. So the organizer has to buy it then. 
Yes. Exactly. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Is somebody talking in the back? Yeah, it's me, and I can't turn off my answering machine. Hang on. So how do I mute uh, somebody if I don't want them to talk? Like, I'm not the organizer, but Jamie is the organizer right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you go into the, I know there's a, the organizer uh, dashboard. Mm -hmm. next to, at, Similar to the chat, if you go on there, you can put your cursor over their microphone and click over it, and then it'll have the slash through it, and I think it'll turn red. Okay. And it'll also turn red on their little icon down here that they have been muted. All right. All right, so uh, I'm are you suggesting, should I be doing that? Like I see Tom has now got the red, is red and got a slash through it. I didn't do that. I muted myself, Jamie. Oh, okay. My and, and I would just say, as, as I'm watching everyone, you know, I did, as J John suggested, he, he, the little, in my screen is in the top center, you can have the uh, view everyone or view who's talking. And I was doing on view who's talking. It's going to be really important that we make sure two people are not trying to talk at the same time because I immediately got, you know, a lot of um, background noise and it was all garbled when two people were trying to speak. If it's one at a time, that one person comes up, I see them and I hear them. Two people at a time, I hear nothing. I think so that's two one of the things, Jamie, if I can say something. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, anyway. Jay, go ahead. So one of the things that when I was working a lot with Margo today was it's going to be imperative when it's a, a true and actual meeting that you know some format like you know raising your hand like we were in school but you will have to then say okay um, you know chair recognizes john zabel and then each time every single one of you speaks you have to start off with even though you just said you know chair recognizes john john will have to say i'm john zabel arb member here is my question and even if he says um, I have a question for attorney not, you know, will your client do X, Y, Z? Now, even though everybody knows, Barry's then going to be the one to answer the question. Barry still has to say, this is attorney Barry not. The answer is one, two, three, whatever the case may be. So that the person who's, who's just phoning this in, GQ Public, will know they can't see anybody and they will know they will at least be able to hear this is john asking a question he's an arb member now attorney barry not is answering the question and even if it goes back and forth between two people each and every time anyone opens their mouth they have to say i am you know their name arb member attorney town planner whatever okay and that's that didn't go on in this one, so that was really important that we got out of it. Like that, John. John Zabel, ARB member. The chair recognizes John Zabel. John Zabel, ARB member. Um, I guess my question is, I'm fortunate. I've been working from home for the past three weeks, so I have all these monitors and everything set up, but. Can we share our screen? Say I have a question, very specific. Again, we've gotten all this stuff in PDF format. Um, as Barry had pointed out, they've already sent everything to us. Um, can I use this as an example right now so we could test it? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. So right if now. you could share your screen, Sasmita, say I'm gonna just, this is not a real comment. So, because I know we're not in the record, mm -hmm. but. If you could, Sasmita, there's a way to allow me to share my screen. It's in that same. Oh, go ahead. Sasmita. Sasmita. Yes. Um, so this is Sasmita, town planner. And this is how you share your screen. You scroll, when you put your cursor on this window, you see four options showing up at the bottom. Yeah, One you is have the to mic. allow that, Sasmita, though. It says the organizer has to allow you to present. So I'm not the organizer right now. It's the it's Jamie, the organizer. I I left the meeting and I gave the permission to Jamie 
But I it came says back. still an organizer on my screen. But Jamie, do you have that? It's probably under the people. Like if you if you click on the there's two heads on the right with okay. the number of participants. Okay. See that? If you click on that, it pops out and it shows you everybody. Okay. And you I, have a microphone there and a screen button there. Um, oh, Eileen, this, is what, this is what I see. I see the people. Oh, okay. So I met Jamie, the co-organizer, which is great. I didn't know that. So Jamie's an organizer and I'm an organizer too. Mm -hmm. There's one person unnamed who's, you know, audio is off. And That's just bad. No, I'm, I'm on. Like, right. Yes. So I don't know who else is on this call. Oh, Jay, and, Jay, Jay's audio is off. No, Jay, I, I typed Jay's name and Jay's like displayed as JH. There's one more caller here. Caller yeah, so number four. It could be a member of the public. Probably. Yeah. It has and, initial CO in the middle of it. And like we were doing, if you want to not have your mic on, you click it. Mm -hmm. And then it goes red. So you know that you're not on and you're not speaking like John, you just did that. You click back in, but if you click off, like I'm going to click off. Can you? Yeah. So Smitha, back to the sharing though, if you, if you, if you get that panel to pop out from the right side of your screen or, or Jamie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find what you're referring to, John. What was that? I'm not, you know, I, I'm not finding where you're talking about and in the, in the toolbar in the upper right i have thing it's something it says people yep exactly that's what you're exactly. referring to if you go next to my name and pull down there where there's currently a microphone or a speaker sign that should also give you the ability to allow me or any it is not it doesn't give anybody else because i i look at the uh, options there all i have is um mute edit name or dismiss that's all so only, I think, yes, Jay. I don't know where it is because I, I, I'm not seeing the dashboard, but there's a way to pass presenter status to people. And it's just going to take, guys, it's okay if we don't find it today. Um, you know, we're going to, I'm going to be doing a couple more, we're going to be doing a couple more of these, but there's a way to pass it to Barry so that everyone can see. Barry can upload a PowerPoint presentation and go through his slides when he at his own cadence, and then everyone can li can listen. And then Susnitha or the organizer or Jamie can then shift it over back to themselves or the next the next presenter. So I did it just now. I made John the presenter. But you also yeah, you're muted. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, uh, for example, right. hold on. I hold on. Perfect. You guys don't need to see my messy uh, work, but you guys are seeing this screen, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah, say for perfectly. example, I wanted to ask a question about this wetland flagging. You guys can see me going around the screen. Then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that works. And we yeah. can also zoom zoom into the drawing if we want on the right side. So oh, we sure. can see yeah. closer, we can drag it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, okay. So John, you'll have to unshare your screen so we can go back. Uh. All of a sudden, it, it popped up and it's not taking over my whole screen anymore. Uh, bear with me. Oh, now we see Jim Fitzpatrick. I've been here. Maybe we'll see you yet. I've been. I see all of you. <laughs> but where is Jamie? <laughs> Yeah, so sweet. I can't figure out how to get my screen full. It, it, I'm working with two monitors, but one of my monitors now. Oh, here you go. There we go. There okay. Go. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Now we don't have you. Jay. 
and I might make I want to make a suggestion when someone is sharing their screen so let's say uh, we've passed the presenter status off to Barry then uh, I, I find it useful to go up to the, your view and change it to view who's talking so that you can see either Barry or his other um, uh, any other people that may be testimony te giving testimony on his behalf. Okay. And How do you do that, Jay? How do you go to view who's talking? The, the top of the screen, you'll see a little up-down arrow that says either view everyone or view who's talking. The top middle of the screen, there's a little drop-down option. Not on my iPad. It doesn't say view. Or on no. the right hand side. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh I, it's it's the cat it's the little camera. View webcams all talking or none. So you can change it like when someone's presenting, they so they may want to change it to hear just who's talking. Yeah, I just made you on mine and you're not there. Well, I don't know. Why isn't your photo there? Well, yes, okay. uh, that's my that's phone call. That's the phone call. Uh, the, w the way that I, I'm more comfortable doing these, because I don't like the audio on my devices, is I'll call in on my phone and then turn off the audio on the device, because I, I feel like I'm clearer with this, and I, I don't like the microphones on the devices. All right, right. well. Susmita has a question. Susmita? So um, I'm looking into the people list. If you can op open that people list, I have two Barry knots, and I don't know why I have two Barry knots there. And I have a caller for, and when I'm trying to open the caller for, um, you know, options to pr make um, them share their screen or present, I'm not able to see anything like that for that caller. And when I go to Aileen, I can see, I can see for Barry, uh, I can, I don't see for Jay too, and I don't know why. I, I got those options for the others, but I'm not getting for the caller four and Jay. Yeah, I, I'm seeing the same thing as you are, Sushmita. There's two of me and no Jay and. Uh, mm -hmm. no, yeah, Jay, go ahead, her. Jay. Yeah, it's it's just the way GoToMeeting works. It doesn't require people to sign in with a name um, or initials or anything like that. So that could just be either. Is anyone else? You, you, can we get a raise of hands? Did anybody else call in on the phone? In addition, I'm called in. No, no. I'm called in. Steve, Steve Law called in and logged on the computer. Okay, so we have two staff or commission members that are called in. But so your photo there, Steve. It may be just a resident who's listening in. John, oh. go ahead. Yeah, I, I have, yeah, I have two berries, one with picture, one without, and then I have two J's, one with picture, one without, and the one without presumably is the phone that that Jay's using. Exactly. And if you can see what I'm saying, if you click on your names and you scroll down the arrow, you have options there where you say connected to audio and share the screen, make presenter and all that. But when I'm clicking on Jay's name, I have only three options. Mute Jay, edit name, dismiss Jay, that's all. When I, for everybody else, it's not that same thing. Is it because, uh, you know, Jay, I don't know. Is it because he's on the phone? It's oh, probably because yeah, my yeah. audio is off on my on my device. So if I turn, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Sounds good. So is everyone comfortable? I think we are fairly comfortable. Not fully, but we'll try. That we we'll learn It'll as work. it goes. Mm -hmm. It's an adventure, and I think it's going to work. I think so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, John. You have, go ahead, John. Yeah, we use. I mean, my company. We use Skype, which is basically go to meeting, but every day. It's just 
all the time. And I've been working for home three weeks. I've been on multiple conference calls every day. And it's almost, this platform looks almost identical. One, one of these stole it from the other. And, and it works great. Like I said, the screen sharing is super clear. And, and as long as everyone's respectful re relative to talking and people aren't talking over each other, it really is really helpful. Right. Uh, I have a request. Aileen, can you, I just want to make sure I have the right one. We haven't met in several months. I'm not even sure which, I mean, I'm sure I can figure it out and go back and look. The last meeting minutes, was it November? <laughs> you know, whether you send out, resend out the meeting minutes or something, or I just want to make sure I have the right ones in front of me for next week. I think November. Aileen, you're on mute in my screen. Too. I know. Oh, How'd I get muted? I know you're not. Though. Jane must have done that. Yeah, so what I can do is I will easily email the, the last minutes just to kind of refresh you guys so you know what it is that you're approving. Yeah. Um, the other thing, okay, Sasmitha, you. you can, when you create a meeting, you can also, you're, as you're, you're the creator, I think is the right word, but you can mm -hmm. also choose three organizers like so for i have three meetings on monday night so mm -hmm. margo create is the creator she created mm -hmm. the meetings and then it's she it was me mike downs and probably ken Prison are three other organizers so you don't have to just pick just jamie or just jay or just you can make a whole bunch so in case especially mm -hmm. as everybody gets familiar with this if someone's screen goes or computer goes really wonky mm -hmm. you know there's a few other people that could pick up the slack or become a you know one of the you can pick one of the organizers to kind of lead the meeting too just a thought can i talk to me that go ahead yeah i agree i mean when i started this i just created it and then afterwards, when I wanted to go back and change the settings this morning, just to include Jay, I was spending like 15 minutes on it, 20 minutes, and then I thought, I'm not figuring this out. So I think next time when I'm um, starting to create a new meeting uh, through this a town account, I will make, you know, Jamie organizer. And um, I think Steve and anybody else who is very tech savvy, I will pick one more person who is very tech savvy who can help. Yeah. Tom is probably more to... tech savvy than I am. Yeah, I would. Yeah, Tom, Tom come on. <laughs> yeah, don't all volunteer at once. I can do I'm it. A really, I'm a really bad millennial technology. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm yeah. not volunteering, but uh, I think um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys finish the meeting here. My my three recommendations. One thing that I'm gonna do after doing this meeting, and this is Jay Habansky, by the way, is I'm gonna tape something to the top of my computer that says "Say Your Name," so to, so that mm -hmm. I remember to say my name every time I start talking. Mm -hmm. Two, I think the hand raising thing is a real good way. And I think, uh, you know, I think the chairman or, or your chair have really got to be the maestro and it's going to be, um, you know, everything's got to go through the chair like it typically would. But, um, you know, I, if you got to remind people to say their name and interrupt them, you can mute them and say, can you please start over and say your name? Um, and that's the way it'll be until we just kind of figure it out. You know, it's going to take a little while. I've already spoken three quarters of this without introducing my name. so. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'll get the, Jamie Millward. So, Smith, I interrupted you in a second. So, I, I'm not sure. I, I see everyone on the screen. Now, all of a sudden, I see Bob Rosati. I hadn't been seeing him before. But also, everyone, is everyone muted themselves? Because other than Barry, Aileen, and Smith, everyone's muted. And they, you've done that to yourself? I did it to myself. Hey, Bear. Yes, I've done it to myself. I, did it. I didn't do it. I just kind of got. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, Aileen Mars. Jamie, it's Steve. I mute myself, but hey, on Steve. the screen, on the screen, it still shows me as green when I mute my phone.
Okay. Go ahead, I Jay. Just I, because you're wait, called in. Can I, this is Jay Havansky. Um, I think that Steve, that's just because you've called in. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Um, the one other suggestion that if if you may want to try to pass the presenter option off to our applicants to see if they are are you guys do you guys want to test this at all or no? Uh, Jim or Barry or Bob? Sure. Test the the, the screen sharing. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go. Have a good night, everybody. You guys okay. are doing great. Good night, Thank you. Thank you. So why don't, Bob, you're, I see you're speaking, but Bob, you're muted right now for me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I got to go because I got to go do, do this for another meeting. So you, you guys just ta taught me how to do it. Let's meet. Uh, I still have to confirm what my client's uh, doing. I, I will do that sooner than later. Sure. Okay. I really hope hey, he Jimmy. goes ahead and gets his approval at least, Bob. If he, whether he decides to go ahead with this or not, you'll have an approval in place. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I just don't know what their intentions are, to be perfectly honest. they sort of gone dark on me, but I'll you find know, out. You have them call me because I tried to call them, but I think they gave, just gave me their work number and maybe their work um, facility is closed right now. I don't have their okay. cell number. And if you can just give me the cell number, I'll you know try, try to talk to them tomorrow. Sure. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for your time. See sure. you guys. Bye, Bear. Bye, Jimmy. Yeah, bye. Later. Bye. Okay. So would Jamie Millward? So would um, Barry or Jim, would either of you guys like to do like a just kind of a dry run? Uh, not present anything, but just see if we can see what you're trying to present? Sure. Am I the presenter now? Yes, I just gave you the presenter option, Barry. It says tap to share content. Uh, go to meetings, stream uh, um, I've lost every time. Oh. Uh, it says now sharing my screen. I, I can see, but that. I don't see anything. Everyone else needs to mute though, because it, when you're when you're doing that, it keeps bouncing to all these other people who aren't muted. All I have is a picture. All of, all of your pictures in 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 a small box in the upper left hand corner, and on the screen, I've got a big uh, green and blue uh, artistic. This is Susmita, town planner. Yeah. Um, so on your screen, if you have an icon where your uh, folder is, you have to open that folder to open the drawing. If it's blank, it will show as blank. What, what, when you say folder, what are you talking about? What, whichever, um, if you want to show us a drawing or something, you'll have to just open that up on your screen. I don't know how to. Oh, well, well, here you go. It says present content, mm -hmm. but it, it doesn't put anything up. Well, do you have something open that you, uh, can you open something, a drawing, just minimize the screen and just open your screen and open anything that you want to show on that screen? The only thing in a very small left hand on the screen. Uh, oh, can you see? I don't uh, know anyone here you want to present. I got I'm not seeing or hearing anything. Can you see documents on my desk now instead of me? I can. Yes. Okay, so what I did is I flipped my camera around on my iPad. You know how you flip it around? 
Mm-hmm. So now you're looking, we're looking at the other half of my room. Uh, I don't know if that helps, but, and now you got me again. I don't know what to tell you, Sismitha. You know what? I don't the think I'm a good option, I think, Barry, the easiest option for you uh, is just to put a board I on can... a chair behind you and just show that on the board and explain the drawing. And we'll we'll look at the drawings at our end. We all have hard copies or electronic copies that we can open and see. Or while you're explaining, I can open the drawing up on the screen for everyone to see. And while you're explaining, I can move things over so people can see that, if that helps. Yeah, maybe maybe we can do both of those things. I'll, I'll open something up behind me and you can do the same uh-huh. thing. And then you can tell me zoom to the right or zoom to the left and I would do that accordingly. Okay. Is that good, everyone? Jamie? Jamie Why doesn't somebody else try? try un- unsharing this, no, really, maybe. I'm hearing one out of every four. Ever since you shared the screen, I read four or five words. Oh. Jamie. Jamie? John? Yeah, uh, I see. Barry, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hit, can you hit the home button on your uh, iPad, like at the bottom? John Zabel. Yep. There you go. Now just open your document. You were you were stuck on the screen. If you hit your home button and then select the document. All we're seeing is what you're sharing, which is this program. If you hit the home screen, go to the home screen and then open your document, you'll see it or we'll see it. How do I go to my home screen? You just did. It showed the picture of your family with all the documents. Oh, yes. Yeah. There you go. Now, if you open, now, now, I'm, now I'm out of go to meeting. No, you're not, though. Believe it or not, we can all see what you're showing. So open something. I mean, open. Do you have another document you can open? No. I wouldn't open my iPad, Barry. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is my this is my screen uh, with my kids. Good looking family. Yeah, they're yeah. lovely. Um, <laughs> they're, they're very expensive, too. <laughs> So but if you can I don't get know. it so you have a PDF, say, of a map or something, all you got to do is bring it up on this screen and we'll be able to see all it. Right. Let me take a look here. PDF of a map. Jamie, can you there hear you us go. now? I have a question. Can can is it just Jamie who can't hear? Can we all all of us can we all hear except Jamie can't hear? He's the only one. I can hear. So maybe everybody mm-hmm. maybe Jamie has the problem on his yeah. end. It's not anything. Can to you do. see my can you see my I can hear right a now? few words yeah, once in a while? Mm-hmm. Can you see my calculator? Yes. Yes. Okay. So Barry, I suggest you do it on a desktop. Do you have a desktop? Me can, yes. I do, but it it, does, it doesn't have a camera. Jamie, that's why I'm using that. Oh, okay. I don't you know have what? a camera I, I and will display, I will display the drawings for you guys. You just keep walking me through it and I will keep changing it. Okay. One of my clients tried to buy one of those, 10 of those little webcams today on Amazon and was told there's a three week uh, back order. Wow. All right, Barry, I'll stop the presenter view for you. I'll just take you out of that. Yeah.
I'm unable to do it, Barry. You have to take it out. How do I do that? Just uh, scroll at the bottom where you have screen. Just press on that and it'll you know, swap you out. I don't have any of that stuff. Okay, let me see how to, let me share my screen with you and let me try to get out of it. And All right, I just pressed, I just pressed okay to no longer presenting. Okay, where is that? Hmm. I went to the, I went to the uh, camera icon. Stop sharing screen. Yep, that's good. And everybody else is paused. Why are they paused? Okay, all right. So Jamie, do you have anything else to add or shall we just end this meeting? No, I, you know, guess we can end and I just got to try and figure out a way to get my a camera to work for myself. Otherwise, I won't be raising my hand. I'll just be, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Um, okay, so I guess if everybody's, is everybody all set? I think so. so. I guess so, yes. Okay. This is me that you'll send out a new, uh, you know, meeting call in and all that stuff. Same thing. For, and it's for 630 next Thursday. Yes, uh, right. I will be back at work on Monday, Aileen. I, today was my day to go to work. Tomorrow I'm working from home. So Monday morning, first thing I'll do is I'll file the agenda. And um, I will request Bob Rosari to confirm if the applicant is going ahead or not. And then, you know, advertising it. Um, at that time, when I create the new meeting, I will create through Jay's account. I will make you one of the organizers too, because you have okay. learned so much to Margo, and uh, <laughs> I will make a few others in this team. And we let's all like not everybody, but at least you know the chair. If you can start a five uh, five minutes before, so we can all you know set ourselves up before we start the meeting. It'll be you know productive, I think. Absolutely. Okay. And the it's chair an adventure. has to keep on reminding everyone to say their names and their titles every time. And remain muted. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jim Fitzpatrick, developer, signing off. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Excuse me, that. So, oh, Aileen Marsh, Secretary. So, Smith, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, you did hit record at the beginning of this, right? Yes. Okay. I did. <laughs> so then, because you hit it, so then could you, you going to um, give that to Dave Wright to upload? You know, Aileen, that's a good question because I hit record in Zoom meeting with my class on Monday for my entire three hour class. After that, when I closed it, it said it was converting the file and I don't know what the heck, what it did. It just made it into a Word document and I, I lost the video. So let me see if this works. I hope it does. Because yes. from what I'm, Aileen Marsh, secretary, from what I'm told, mm -hmm. it takes at least as long as the meeting for the program that you're using to download. So if this is, what are we at now? Seven o'clock. So. It's been an hour meeting. It would take at least an hour, and depending on whatever system, it could take as much as two to three times as long. So mm -hmm. you just hit end, but by tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. it'll then be, you know, I'm so not tech savvy, but it'll be downloaded into whatever GoToMeeting uses, and then you can send it to, to Dave. Okay. Okay. Well, this is going to be shared with the public, this meeting that we just had? It has yeah. to. Okay. It has to, and all the because Barry, the minutes are just going to say the ARB, you know, practiced and said, you know, these are the takeaways. Announce your name and title, and yada yada. The next meeting is date and time, and 
Chairman Millward, you know, record, you know the the meeting ended at 6:59 p.m. But technically, because you guys are all meeting in a group, it has to be. All right, so this is Jamie back. So are we are we all set now? So is, yeah, I didn't realize this is an official meeting. So right, it's no, up no. to me to close the meeting. Is that what I'm being told? Yes. Uh, I was told Steve just uh, chat, typed in the chat window that someone muted him and he's unable to talk. Um, so I'm trying to see unmute all. I can't I can't do anything with Steve. He wanted to say something. I don't know. I'm not able to do it. We'll just tell, let's just type him. Um, sorry. Steve. Unable to unmute you. Oh, is that better? Yes, it works now. Mm -hmm. uh, since Mitha, it's Barry. Procedurally, mm -hmm. one of the members has to make a motion to adjourn, seconded by another one. Yes, Barry. Okay. If, Still not if, there. If motion. Ward, Secretary, or Chairman, is there a motion on the floor? M motion. John? Is there a second? Second, Steve Law. All in favor? Aye. Raise your hand. All in favor, raise your hand. <laughs> All opposed? I'm meeting adjourned at 7.01. At 7.01. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you, everybody. Good job, Bye. guys. Yeah. Thank you. Good night.